Void Interactive has been dropping things like a madman. They've given out so much stuff to talk about that I could probably keep you guys going with new content for a while. But we all know why we're here. What's up everybody, Drag back at it again with another video. Today we are going to be talking about the gameplay trailer itself and what we might see. And this is all based on prior knowledge of what the developers have actually stated in the past. For those of you that are just watching or just showed up on this channel, the gameplay trailer itself actually comes out on March 7th. If you saw my goofy release date video, the reason why it's like that is because it's kind of like an embodiment of the community that's been waiting and all the freaking hype and craziness that's going on around it that's why it was weird we just been waiting so goddamn long that i just thought i'd make that but anyways let's get back to the trailer so i'm not entirely sure of what the plan is when march 7th comes around because as i stated in a previous video the developers are going to have a podcast with one big youtuber and two big twitch streamers i believe this will all take place on clean stream which you can actually go down to the link in the description if you want to ask questions you can hop into their discord and look for the questions for the stream tab so the reason I'm talking about that is because I'm not sure if the trailer is to take place in the stream itself because in the tweet that they confirmed it on, they said that they would reveal new content. Now the question is, is are they going to release the trailer before the podcast and then release new content or are they going to release it during the podcast and then release extra content or does that mean that they're going to release the trailer and that's the new content? So I'm just, I don't know. I guess we'll get to that date soon. So what do I think the trailer is going to contain? Well, I've been covering this game for a very long time and i get bits and pieces of information that the developers seem to drop here and there so i'm just going to combine what i've gotten into this video so i just want to be clear this could all be subject to change because the stuff that i have picked up kind of dates back a while so i'm not sure if any of this is relevant to uh what's coming up so let's go ahead and get into it so a while ago, I had sent a message to the person who at the time, very frequently, would respond to emails. And I remember him saying that there was a trailer and that it was to be around 8 plus minutes. This was later confirmed by other developers and other people with other emails that were sent from the same guy. Now whether or not this is still true, I'm not entirely sure. I believe I did see a post somewhere that said that they wanted to be around 8 minutes. So maybe it still rings true, but I'm not entirely sure. So let's move on to the next thing. Thing. I have seen here and there that the developers want to cover all bases. What does all bases mean? Well, that means single player, co-op, and multiplayer. This is definitely something that has been confirmed by the developers on what they want to do. But how do we distinguish one from the other? Well, my dear viewer, I will try to tell you. So let's start with single player. A good way of knowing if it's single player is if the camera is in first person. If that person pulls out like a tiny little box that says command menu and he orders a command and there's something that like pops up on the screen that looks like an arrow of some type and the squad follows that order to a T, then that is single player because only AI would be well coordinated enough to do formations unless you have a really good clan. So how do we know it's co-op? Well, if a first person SWAT officer looks at another team member and they have a gamer tag that pops up, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's co-op. But if the people that the SWAT team is going up against look like the run of the mill bad guys, then that is co-op. But now how do we know it's multiplayer? Well, the developers have stated in the past that in the multiplayer, you will play as both SWAT and paramilitary. And the paramilitary force has a distinct uniform that's up on the screen for you guys to see. This is how you know this is the multiplayer. So I hope that this kind of helps you in trying to distinguish which is which. Let's push on to something else. Another thing that the developers are going to try and showcase are the mechanics. Here's a few things to look out for. Incremental lean system. Incremental door control system. Modular speed control. Projectile dynamics, bullet penetration, ricochets, deteriorating, convex collision armor, responsive damage system and effects, visceral gore, highly detailed weapons, characters and environments, and tactical analysis. Those are just some of them, but I'm sure there's going to be more. Another thing that might be, and I can't stress the might be enough, because this trailer could have a potential release date, but there's no confirmation on that. Easy Street in the Discord mentioned that there could be a release date, but he's not too sure about that so just take that one with a grain of salt but what is for sure is that pre-orders should drop and you'll be able to get the game and merchandise on their website and that's pretty much it or at least all that i can think of 
As I was recording this, an announcement dropped saying that the trailer will be live at 5 p.m. PST and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Void Interactive's YouTube page. That link should be in the description. So I believe this actually comes out before the podcast. Very interesting. Man, when that trailer comes out, I am going to analyze it like crazy. That video is probably going to be like maybe like 30 to an hour long, depending on how long the trailer is. Oh, baby. So in the past, I have stated that this is the trailer that determines whether or not Void Interactive makes it or breaks it. This is a very daunting task because they have a lot of hype surrounding it and there's definitely going to be a lot of people that they're going to need to impress. So I just want to take the time and say to the developers, best of luck, because you're going to need it. You know, I really hope games that are like Ready or Not succeed because this genre is just so empty. I mean, there are some games, but they're far and few between. But anyways, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye